Now, we also spoke with Representative Mary Fallon earlier today about her wishes for health care reform. Basically, what I'm looking for is a system that is not a government takeover of health care. It's a system that lets the private sector be involved in our health care system that will lower costs, create more accessibility to, to the health care system for those who are uninsured. And Representative Frank Lucas joins us now with more on his wishes. Representative Lucas, as you start to work on health care reform now that you're back from recess, how much weight are those comments carrying that were made at the town hall meetings across Oklahoma and the country? Well, Melissa will know in a few days, but clearly my colleagues, the ones who had town meetings, I did 18 in August in the 3rd District of Oklahoma, heard their people say, almost with a single voice, we don't want the federal government to take over health care. We don't want the federal government to pick our doctors. We don't want the federal government involved in our lives in this fashion. Now, if the president's listening, he'll step back away from the plan that's been offered up in the House, and he'll come up with a way to meet the legitimate needs that are out there without having the federal government take health care over. But he has a problem, Melissa. Speaker Pelosi of the United States House has basically said, if the bill doesn't have a public option, if the federal government isn't a factor in the program, she won't let the bill come to the floor. President Obama has a real problem within his own party. Well, you know, President Obama has said, and he's posed this question to his critics of his health care plan. He asked, what will you do? What is your solution? So how would you answer that uh, question? Melissa, I like Dr. Coburn, our junior United States senator from Oklahoma's proposal of a refundable tax credit that would give people who can't afford to buy their own health care the ability to go buy health insurance from a private provider in the market system where we'd have competition. I think we can meet those needs. And I'll also acknowledge to you that the president and the majority leadership in Congress have left the issue of tort reform off the table. There are a variety of things we could do that would help reduce the cost of, and I think improve the availability of health care without having the federal government take over this most important part of our national economy. What do you say to those Oklahomans out there and those people across the country who feel that they just can't afford health care right now, that they don't have health care right now, and that they wish that they did? What are you saying to those people? Well, they'd better make sure that they've reviewed all their options, because after all in this country, if you're over 65, you have access to Medicare. If you're below a certain income level, you have access to Medicaid. We need to make sure that all those programs are being fully utilized. But as Senator Coburn says, there are ways to help make sure people can access it. We need to make sure those are there. But let's not take the best health care delivery system in the world we have here in the United States, and in the name of having the federal government take it over to do it in a federal government sort of way, destroy the system. I want to keep what's good. I want to address the cost issues. I want to address the availability. But I want to make sure we continue to have our relationship with our doctors and our health care providers we have under the present system in America right now. Well, you mentioned Nancy Pelosi not wanting uh, to even bring the bill to the floor if there's not a public option in mm -hmm. it. Do you think that the final plan is going to have a public option? I don't think so. If the president wants a bill on his desk to sign, then I think he has to step away from public option. Speaker Pelosi may insist, may demand that only a government-run option be allowed across the floor of the House. But I don't see how the Senate passes that. And when we go to conference, if the Speaker and the more liberal elements of the United States House demand that the government be the driving force in health care, Based on what I've seen in my town meetings and what I hear from my colleagues across the country, they won't pass a bill. So they'll make the decision. Do they want health care reform or do they want nothing? I hope, I hope they aren't so focused on having the government take over health care that they cause nothing to happen. Well, hopefully in the end when the bill comes forward, it will be short enough and clear enough so that Oklahomans will understand what is actually in it. Representative Lucas, we appreciate you joining us today. Thank you, Melissa.